Today we're going to be building a TRX 4M mini mega monster truck. I got some great parts going in this build, including the brand new RC all-wheel drive portal axles for the TRX 4M, the PN Racing high-speed motor, and the biggest tires ever to go on a one-inch rim at the time of this recording. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a different project than I usually do, but the end result is pretty rad. So let's get in and check this thing out. All right, let's check these axles out here. So RC all-wheel drive sells these in a couple different variations you can get the front only you can get the rear only you can get the complete set what's cool about the complete set is that you get the front and rear axles you get drive shafts and you get a metal geared servo already attached to the mount and everything so these are really a bolt up and go configuration good looking axles here these come in two different colors there is a silver version i have the black version here they're all aluminum with brass housings They've got a nice heavy feel to them, very solid. We've got an aluminum servo mount, red aluminum servo horn. What is unique about these from RC All-Wheel Drive is that they come with a configurable differential setup. So you'll see in the package here, you get these metal drive shafts, but you also get diff lockers here. So they come with like an open differential here. This is very similar to the differential setup that's in the Max Smasher monster truck from FMS. And while open differentials are cool for high speed use, for monster trucks and things like that, they're not going to be ideal for crawling. But RC All Wheel Drive recognizes that and they give you the option to put in these diff lockers. So it comes with the open setup from the bag with the option to convert it to the lock diffs, which is exactly what we're gonna do because I want that locked function for crawling and for heavy duty off-road usage. So this is a cool design, this is a great kit. It is pricey though, this is gonna be about $200 for the full kit. At the time of this recording, it's on sale for $50 off, so 150 bucks for the whole setup, which isn't bad for a complete set of axles, metal drive shafts, and a metal geared servo. So this is gonna be really like a one shot, complete axle and steering overhaul for your TRX 4M. So we're gonna put these on my TRX 4M F-150 high trail. And you may be thinking, why am I gonna put these on the high trail? It's gonna lift it up even higher. Well, I got a surprise for you guys when we get going here. But before I do that, I'm gonna open these up. I'm gonna put the diff lockers in. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, let's do the front first. First, I'm gonna take this. It's a good time to do this, crack this open and make sure that there's grease in there anyway. I typically do this with my portals. Here's our differential housing. We have to pull the outer axle shafts out a little bit just so I can unlock this here. Okay, with our axle shafts out, we can now pull this apart. So we're gonna just kind of dismantle the diff here. See, we've got these four screws Right here, we're going to undo that. We're going to retain this gear. We're gonna bolt this up to our locker. And inside, you can see that, that's the internals of the differential setup. A lot going on in there for a tiny little truck. Now I'm just gonna take this locker. I'm gonna put the flat side of the gear on right here. There we have it. Now we've got our locked differential. I'm gonna put some grease on this. There, now we've got locked differential here. Now you can see if I hold the drive shaft, these cannot spin independently hex is turned in the same direction. So I'm gonna bolt this back up, then I'm gonna do the rear, and then we're gonna bolt it up to the truck. So I'll catch you guys in a minute. All right, here is the F-150 with the portal axles installed. Very, very easy install. I'll give you a couple notes on the installation here. Everything went together really well. I did break a couple bolts. One I broke right on the outside of the portal cover. On the rear, I was opening it up just to get the axle shafts out to put the lock diff in. 
snap that thing right off. And then on the other one is inside the rear diff, one of the screws for the gear was stripped out almost immediately. And I actually had to really kind of mar this up and break the thing off, unfortunately. RC All Wheel Drive does supply extra hardware, thankfully, so I was able to get it up and running. But that was just unfortunate. Otherwise went together really smooth. I took the portals apart just to make sure there was grease in there. The fronts were greased up really well right from the package. The rear portals needed a little bit in the portal boxes themselves, but otherwise good to go. Fit and finish on these things, they look fantastic. You know, RC All Wheel Drive does a great job with their axles. These are no different. All the aluminum anodized parts, the black coated brass, everything looks great. It was really nice having the servo already mounted, steering linkage, everything. So it was a super simple installation. This does utilize some different sized hardware throughout. So one of the things you will need is a 5.5 nut driver for your wheels. If you're gonna use the wheel nuts that are supplied with the kit, you'll need a bigger nut driver. It does utilize two millimeter hardware as well. So upper link mounts, front and rear, utilize two millimeter hardware. So just to keep that in mind, you will need some extra tools, but nothing out of the ordinary. Also something to note, when you do portal axles on any truck, what's going to happen, it's going to reverse your throttle direction. So here we are, we have this hooked up. So I'm gonna press forward. It's gonna to wanna to go backwards. There's a couple different ways to switch that around. Well, number one, you can do it with the Traxxas transmitter and you can go through the set functionality here and you can reverse the throttle direction on the transmitter. An easier option is just to reverse your motor wires. So I have an aftermarket motor here with the independent plugs. So if I just switch these around, now we've got our throttle direction back to normal. And you can easily do this with the stock motor. You don't have to have the independent wires. Just flip your plug around and you're good to go. This approach allows you to keep the functionality of the ProScale light kit if you have that in your TRX-4M. If you reverse the transmitter, it's going to wreak havoc on your ProScale light kit. So I recommend the motor wire switch. It's much easier. Now one of the side effects of portal axles, let me back that up. The benefit of portal axles, we'll start with the positive, is you get this immense ground clearance underneath the center of your truck. So it, what portal axles do, they lower the axle shafts, the outer axle shafts, and raise the center, which gives us all that extra ground clearance here, which is great for going over rocks and tricky obstacles. A byproduct of that is that, as you can plainly see here, it drastically lifts the height of your truck. I mean, now this thing's looking like sitting on stilts. So you can always manipulate your suspension if you want to take your springs out or tweak that around. You can bring that down a little bit, but you can see there's still a gap there. So what this allows us to do is put gigantic tires on it. And I have with me today an exclusive first look at the most gigantic one inch tires I have ever seen from DJ Crawler here. These are 74 millimeter tires. There is 74 by 27 millimeter tire on a one inch wheel, absolutely enormous. And I'm going to try to fit these on our TRX 4M. I'm gonna make this into kind of like a mini mega truck, you know? So let me show you what I've done with the power plant here too. I've put the stock gear ratio in. I've gone back to my PN Racing 63 turn high speed motor. And what I'm gonna do now is put these gigantic tires on here. We're going to make this into a mini mega truck. I thought this would be fun and something different. Let's look at these tires really fast. These things are absolutely ridiculous. Super soft and sticky compound. They feel great. What DJ Crawler has done with these tires though, it's different from previous tires. I got a couple different sets actually. They've made these kind of comp pin tires as well. These are a 72 millimeter <laughs> monsters. We're not gonna put these on the TRX 4M, but I'm gonna find something to put these on. But what I wanna show you is that DJ Crawler is now giving us dual stage foams with these. So that was one of my issues with the previous big tires from them is that such a huge tire on a one inch wheel, you get a lot of sidewall flex. But now with this stiffer inner ring, 
you've got a much stronger sidewall. And what that translates into is still got a fair amount of flex there, but not nearly as much as you would think for a massive 74 millimeter tire. I'll put the link in the description for both of these things if you want to check them out. But we're going to be using these monsters right here, the 74s mounted up on the little guy racing parts, beadlock wheels. So let's make the switch real quick, see if these things fit. Nothing exceeds like excess, and we have gone so excessive with this thing, and I absolutely love it. Look at this monstrosity that we have built here. With the portal axles and the extra height that this gives our chassis, plus the lift that is already on this from the TRX4M high trail, we had plenty of clearance to run these 74 millimeter tires. There is no rubbing. I mean, I suppose when the suspension I mean, barely, it catches a little bit, but for the most part, these things fit pretty much perfectly and they look incredible. These are the trucks from my childhood right here. I remember on weekends going to mud runs and things and seeing the home built monster trucks that look just like this. This thing is so rad. A far departure from what I usually build and what I usually like, but man, this thing looks really good with the high trail setup and these monstrous DJ crawler tires. I thought about utilizing the same Traxxas wheels to keep that kind of retro look, but I ended up going with the black little guy racing parts beadlocks. It gives it a really kind of menacing look, but I don't know. I still like that retro aluminum. Let me know in the comments down below which wheel choice you think. But the whole stance of this thing looks incredible. Super pumped with it. Look at the ground clearance underneath this thing. Enormous, enormous ground clearance. Now, not only do we have it in the center, we have it underneath the axles as well huge huge ground clearance brought about by the portals and the monstrous tires so this thing is going to be a beast i am so excited to try this out we got to go hit the rocks in the mud with this thing so i'm going to pack up we're going to go hit the trails and see what we can find for terrain to test this thing out here with the new TRX4M mega truck. Axel and I are out here 
cruising around one of our favorite spots. There's a bunch of dirt bikes behind us too, so it might get a little noisy. But check this thing out. I've been out here for about 10 minutes or so tooling around. So the portal axles on this thing do a great job giving me the height and the clearance to get up over some of these rocks. If you can see that, it's got immense ground clearance underneath it. But one of the things I am noticing right off the bat is that with the height, you sacrifice any type of side hill stability. Cause it, so this is not going to be a crawler anymore, which is okay, which is kind of what I was expecting. You can see, leaning pretty hard. Yeah, it just topples over pretty easy. But the extra ground clearance from the portals, it's crazy out here. With that PN Racing motor in there and the stock gears, it's got plenty of wheel speed. So you can see that. It's a good spot if I can demonstrate the ground clearance here with the portals. Still crawls pretty good with that PN Racing motor setup. I did lose some of that slow speed control, but it's manageable. Again, this is not set up to be a crawler with this huge height that it's got on it. But look at the clearance just going over these rocks like nothing. Just line it up in the center, just go straight over. Very impressive. There's no gear reduction or anything in these portals that I'm aware of, so it doesn't change the ratio or anything there or give you any additional slow speed crawling ability. But they do look great and they are super functional out here. gonna head over here and hit some mud see how this thing does I've been in the mud a little bit which is surprising if you follow me if you watch the channel a lot I don't do a whole lot of mud Axel's the mud guy but this thing is set up for the mud look at this monster so we're gonna cruise over here we got a bunch of good mud spots to hit let's see how this thing does in the mud, in the mud buddy imagine that right I just love how this truck looks. These big tires and the height and everything look really good on the high trail. Alright, here we go. I didn't look to see if the RC all-wheel drive servo was waterproof, but we're going to find out. Look at the, the height from the tires. Keep this thing up and out of the water. <laughs> we have some speed. <laughs> no problem. Are we ready? Yeah. So this is the speed comparison. The FMS is in second gear. Traxxas has got the single gear, but still fast. Okay, we're in a deep puddle now. Let's see. Whoa! <laughs> That's Whoa! <laughs> Swimming! <laughs> it's like a unimog! <laughs> That's what they call it Oh yeah, it's awesome. Oh, that's a unimog! I'm pretty impressed with the old F-150 mega truck here. Look at it go! It's like an underwater dog fight! No problem! Over here doing a little bit of rock crawling just in a moderate spot. Look at those portal axles and the ground clearance from these things. This is a really cool project. It was really fun to do something different here. The High Trail is a surprisingly good crawler, but it is a very good mud truck slash mega truck here. So this thing is doing great. Like I said, it is tippy. I'm really having to be careful with my lines, but it's still a lot of fun. In the mud, really, really fun. I can see why Axel likes it so much. I think I will probably go back to the lower gears. I feel like this is too fast, too much wheel speed for me. Oh, let's go ahead and save it. Oh, there we go. Too much wheel speed, even for this type of setup, I think I could really benefit from a lower gear ratio. I don't need all of this wheel speed. So I might go back to the crawler gears and the high speed motor. I think that could be a good combination. 
Mies Racing also makes some kind of middle ground gears that might be really good for this. There we go. There's a muscle around. If I get it, there we go. Look at I just am so in love with the look of this truck. <laughs> Super fun project. All right, we're gonna cruise around for a little bit. I'm gonna take this thing down through the washout. Axel and I are gonna have some fun. Yeah. And then I'll circle back with you guys on the bench to give you my final thoughts of this setup. So I had a ton of fun with this build. It was really fun to do something totally different. And I'm pretty stoked on how awesome the TRX4M high trail looks in this mega truck form. The parts that we used performed excellent. The RC all wheel drive axles give you that huge lift and also a ton of ground clearance underneath this thing. The high trail had a bunch of ground clearance to start with. Now with these portals on here, huge ground clearance. And while we've tested portal axles before, these are interesting because you've got the configurable differentials. I'm glad I went with the locked diffs, although I wonder if I would have had less rollover issues if I'd gone with the open diffs. I think maybe it would corner better and not roll over as much, but I don't know. I like the locked diffs because of the performance benefits, but it's nice to have that option to customize it either way. Those portal axles are a nice complete kit. My servo did die shortly after going through the mud, so I'm not sure if that servo is waterproof. It didn't last very long on the trail after we took it through the mud, so I am gonna have to replace that. The massive DJ crawler tires, man, these things are insane. This thing went through mud like a champ, no problem. I do notice even with the dual stage foam, they do kind of slide around on there. It seems like the soft portion of the foam is shifting on the inner portion, and I found that it's kind of, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of bulging out right there around that harder insert. The DJ Crawler is certainly pushing the limits when it comes to a one inch wheel. I think we may have surpassed it here. I don't know. Guys, let me know in the comments down below if you think we've gone too big with these things. And then the drivetrain on this, I think I'm going to go back to the Crawler gears, like I said, that PN Racing motor, which is waterproof, by the way. I had some issues with these initially in the water, but it turned out I just had some debris stuck in there. So once I got that cleaned out, these things go like a champ. And that 63 turn high speed motor has tons of power, enough that I think I'm gonna go back to the crawler gears to tone that thing down. I think it's gonna be a good middle ground. But all in all, great project and I'm glad I did it. And I think I'm gonna leave the TRX4M in the mega format for a while. It's really grown on me and I had a ton of fun with it out there. I'll put the links in the description down below for all the products that we used in this video. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of the mega truck, the mini mega truck? And as always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and I will see you in the next video.